Double pendulums are not chaotic. Or at least not all of them. You've probably seen videos like these, where a tiny deviation in similar double pendulums amplifies over time until they completely desynchronize. This system is so sensitive to initial conditions that it's practically unpredictable, so we call it chaotic. But you probably haven't seen this. These pendulums also have slightly different starting positions, but they will not diverge. They even trace a repeating pattern, for which I call this the pretzel pendulum. A stark contrast with the first ones, which are making a complete mess. So what's the deal? These pendulums follow the same laws of physics. The only difference is the position from which they started. And behavior as a function of starting position can be graphed, revealing fractals like these, where each point shows how chaotic a certain pendulum is. But before diving into the fractals, let's get to know a few individual specimen. This pendulum is one of the chaotic ones. We are particularly interested in the angles that separate each bar from the vertical. Plotting the top angle as x, and the bottom angle as y, we can make a graph like this. This pendulum is evidently chaotic from the graph. It follows no consistent pattern. Here's a non-chaotic pendulum. It's drawing a shape known as a Lisa Zhu curve. Here's the signal from the top and bottom angles separated out. We can run this pendulum for a long time, reinterpret these signals as sound waves on the left and right speaker, and listen to the pendulum. It doesn't precisely sound beautiful, but compare that with the chaotic pendulum. And here's the pretzel pendulum. This one traces a repetitive curve in angle space, so it sounds the cleanest. Listening to a pendulum tells us if it's chaotic, but we have to listen one by one. Instead, we can make a large array of pendulums like this. The pendulum's x position in the grid corresponds to the top angle, and its y position corresponds to the bottom angle. By associating angle positions with colors, it's easier to tell what's going on. As a bonus, we can add points in angle space for these pendulums and see how they move. Let's increase the resolution to one pendulum per pixel. A nice feature of this fractal is that it tiles the plane. Rotating either pendulum arm by 2 pi yields the exact same position, so the fractal is periodic. Pay attention to how there are two distinct modes of behavior here. There's a region of chaotic pendulums sensitive to their initial conditions, as well as a region of coherent ones which are not. Now, for each pixel, we track two pendulums, separated by a slight starting difference, and plot their difference over time. So, this plot shows how quickly the pendulums in our grid diverge. Let's reset the pendulums and watch that again from the start. Here we go. Now, I'm going to pick a certain point corresponding to a pendulum in the black region meaning its behavior is non-chaotic. We can plot its path in angle space just like we did before. Moving the point around in the black region, this curve moves smoothly and cleanly. This main black region is home to all the Lisa Zhu style pendulums. But as soon as you leave and step into the chaotic region, all hell breaks loose. Let's look closer at the chaotic region in white. There are a few spots of black in here. These islands of stability contain special pendulums which follow stable paths. This big island of stability contains the pretzel we saw earlier. This one, which I call the shoelace, traces a more complex pattern. This one draws a picture of a heart, 
This island is particularly small. We've seen how the pendulums, which start near the angle 0, 0, are very well behaved. Those pendulums have extremely low mechanical energy. So maybe energy is somehow involved? Taking this borderline chaotic pendulum, if I color red all the pendulums with less mechanical energy than this one, it overlaps nicely with the Lisa Jouesque pendulums. So is that it? Are high energy pendulums chaotic while low energy pendulums are coherent? It's time for a change in perspective. So far, I've been dropping the pendulums from a motionless state. What if, instead, we start the pendulum off with some momentum? Sure enough, there are islands of stability for other starting momenta too. I'm now reorienting the axes of our fractal to be in momentum space instead of angle space. In other words, we're looking at a grid of pendulums all with starting angles at zero, but with different starting speeds. It's still the case that the pendulums with low energy are stable. And the pendulums with slightly higher energy are chaotic. But these ultra-high energy pendulums don't nicely fit into one box or another. Here's some spirographs from all over momentum space. Chaos is a hard thing to define. You may have even noticed that I subtly changed definitions throughout the video. Aperiodicity, unpredictability, divergence, these definitions tend to match up, but the differential equations describing double pendulums have no analytic solution for any non-trivial starting position. But even so, this system is sufficiently fertile to support little gems of order in the rough, as any good chaos should. This has been Two Swap, with music by 6884. It's no secret that I prefer a visual approach to understanding mathematical concepts. Math doesn't have to feel like a jumble of fancy Greek letters. There's always an underlying intuition. That's why brilliance lessons in math, computer science, and physics all involve visualizations, games, and examples which don't just teach you those messy equations, but rather the ideas which inspire them. You don't just solve problems, but you can play with the systems to really grok how they work to begin with. Brush up on the basics, or dive into the cutting-edge mathematics behind neural networks and quantum mechanics. Math doesn't have to be hard, or boring. Learn to appreciate its beauty with Brilliant. You can try all of Brilliant's features for free for 30 days by visiting brilliant.org 2swap and get 20% off in the long run on an annual subscription.